In this video, I want to show you four of my favorite trim carpentry details that we tend to add in almost every renovation project. So these are things that I think really look nice and add value to a house and aren't that commonly seen around the place. If you find this content useful, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit the subscribe button. Hi, my name is Rachel Turner and I'm a licensed and registered builder in Brisbane and I'm passionate about modern homes with a storybook charm. Let's get stuck in to the first detail. Number one is balustrading. And we do several different types of balustrading. We do one that I call a chunky American style balustrading. And this one here, which is more of a finer, prettier style balustrading with two skinnier balusters closer together. And then this is another common one of ours as well, the cross style balustrading. But we're just gonna run you through our most commonly used one, which is the chunky American style. Primed pine here, and it's the 90 by 40 mil we use for the top plate and the bottom plate. And then we use these 42 by 42 mil for the balusters. I like to use this 42 by 42 mil because it's, it's you know it's chunkier than the normal slats that you see on Queenslanders. It just creates a different look. You don't really see this in Brisbane. The downside is though, it's 42 by 42 mil. London has had to route out a channel in this top plate for the 42 mil balusters to fit into. So that's how we do balustrading. Here it is installed, just waiting to be painted. And this fretwork is actually exactly the same thing as the balustrading, but just a mini version. Generally, we do these about 200 or 250 mil high. Next, I want to show you how we do external closed in stairs. So traditionally you see normal external stairs with just the tread, but often we do them with a white painted riser as well. This gives them a more sophisticated look, means you can't see through and underneath the staircase. And it's also a really American style look as well. We're just doing the external staircase for the front of the house at the moment. I didn't want to do a traditional staircase with a normal stringer. I wanted to see the cut stringer in the zigzag shape. I wanted that to be exposed. So the boys have cut it out and that's what we left like that. But these are the risers here. We're going to have um, white fascia painted white for the risers. And then on the treads, we're going to be using these decking boards, which is what we've used on all the decks, but we're ripping them down so we get rid of this groove here. So it will look like that. And then two of these will be sitting on each tread with a 20 mil overhang. So it's just a little bit different to a normal set of stairs. So here we are, the stairs are under construction now and you can see we've used this composite decking as the tread with a 20 mil overhang. We we're gonna use um, like a primed pine painted fascia, but instead we're just using some FC sheeting, um, which we've cut to size to suit this rise here. Because um, it, once it's painted white, it'll look like it's painted timber anyway. Next is shingles. Shingles are very common in America and they are often used to clad the entire home. Here in Australia, shingles are a little bit on the expensive side per square meter. So it's not really feasible to clad a whole house, but perhaps it's a nice idea to use them in small areas. For example, your little uh, gables or your decorative porticos. So I'll give you a quick tutorial on how we do that. You can see one of the finished gables up there. So now we're just putting shingles on this carport. It's Western Red Cedar shingles and they come in these little boards, which are roughly, I don't know, 400 mil by, I don't know, 60 mil, but different sizes, 400 mil by 70 or 80 mil. They're just kind of random off cuts. Randall is nailing them up. Is it because of expansion that you're leaving that gap there, Randall? Yep. And because you can see the blue house flap behind it so we'll have to do double layer for the first for the first row here. I'm not sure if you can see about Randall's run, just a little string line there just so that we can keep that bottom edge all straight. And just working back the other direction now. It's overlapped here so that we don't see the blue house wrap. 
And then once we finish that row, then he'll be able to start the second row about 100 mil higher. And then the third row about 100 mil higher again. And so here's the finished product. So we're gonna do a little Eve that comes out over here and a couple of little cute sort of veranda brackets which will support the Eve. Yep. And we'll cut this uh, beam here into a decorative half moon shape. So anyway, that's how you install cedar shingles. The last thing I want to show you is our farmhouse style architraves. I love using these because I just think they look quite sophisticated and expensive and make the door and window frames look really chunky. So all it is, is the top and the bottom piece is just a piece of 42 by 19 mil primed pine laid on its side and then the piece underneath the top piece is a 31 by 90 again laid on its side and then in the middle you could use either a 90 by 19 or for a chunkier look a 120 by 19 and just laid flat as normal and that's basically all it is So that's all for now guys thanks for watching again if you could please hit the subscribe button that would be great bye